Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to change sounds of footsteps like per surface like this ones based on external assets. Okay, so let's get started. This will before I started the video I imported the sounds from this package footsteps sounds with blueprint setup from uh, marketplace and uh, they're over here sorry okay they're over here footstep sounds sounds uh, unfortunately um, their their sounds are in sound waves so we need to create the cues fortunately it's very quick to do and um, okay so let's create maybe for wood we select all of them right click create a single queue so as I will name it as sound queue wood foot step uh, zero one there we go so we so we already have a footstep for wood uh, footstep queue and uh, let's create for I don't know for plastic maybe the same thing create single queue Let's queue plastic footstep zero one okay so it's working and maybe one more for grass yep like so create single queue grass footstep there it is so instead of like in terms of um, data for footsteps they are defined in um, they can be assigned per character i have only one for now and uh, they called da foot uh, foot impacts data uh, in, this is like data asset of course you can create uh, you can copy and uh, duplicate them and create how much you want okay uh, so when you open this um, you have you see a bunch of settings you can see you can set vfx on footstep and uh, custom blueprints also footprint uh, in this case i have and uh, and the decals so uh, and also now you can change noise range which will you know uh, attract the ai uh, but we'll focus on sound now uh, okay so we have uh, we i think we made oh, i don't remember what we made we made for wood I think so let's send, change it for wood as C foot wood um, wood footstep and I think we made one for plastic so plastic footstep there we go and um, what else what else we made mm, damn it that will be that will be faster to go directly there sound sound cues okay and we create for plastic and for grass okay so let's change it also for grass actually actually already have it selected so grass there it is save and let's test it yep looks like that's that's their sound It is for default the same, I see. Okay, that's a little... That's a little weird. Ah, yes, of course, the surface over here, like... The <laughs> uh, surface over here is also... Is also plastic. The, the overall surface, surface that we walk on. So we'll hear the plastic even we are not uh, on walking on plastic. And... Um, all right, so um, that's about it, and uh, we can to well to test it, and uh, we can override the physical material of this of this surface over here, maybe on both of them. To I don't know metal. I think this one. So 
So there you go. So you can, as you can see, there's metal sound now. That plastic. And wood. New new wood sound for uh, for impact. And how you how you add impacts? Well, impact notifies. And I'll show that also quickly. We can go. We can look for an footstep, which is animation notify footstep. As you can see, we have base class an footstep and left right uh, for <laughs> left and right uh, leg. So I will look for uh, references. So so we'll go directly to the animation. So that will be faster. And um, look, where is the show? Reference viewer, yes. Um, which animation would be? There's plenty of uh, plenty of animations are using it, as you can see. Uh, can I search? Jock, right? Well, for example. I'm not sure if this search works. Uh, let me find something. Crouch forward, right? Yeah, so there is some some kind of walking here. Yeah, as you can see, uh, there the the notifies are here. I and footstep right foot, and uh, you can also debug the footsteps. On uh, well, first I'll show you how to add this. Add notify and footstep right. There you go. You can also debug the footstep data here inside the inside the um, uh, inside animation so you can add the which foot, footstep impact data you want from which character so I'll do this for both for both notifies and um, debug editor footstep surface and like we can determine which surface it's supposed to be here inside well and uh, we need to of course enable these uh, this debug uh, play footstep in editor so it should already work there you go so as you can see you already have the particles and the sounds and we can for example uh, we change it for wood so let's define wood over here yeah so we can as you can see we can simulate the surface Inside the inside the animation um, asset itself, so you can you can test that, debug that, like like so. Um, you can also debug, uh, enable debug uh, over here for each footstep. So you when oh man, so you should have some. Let me clear this. So now, as you can see in logs, that will be that will be also in game. But in logs, as you can see, um, you you can you can see some information which which sound was played, which from which bone. You can also determine the um, you know the um, the bone uh, like from which bone the trace supposed to uh, supposed to trigger. And and yeah, so so that's about footstep uh, impacts. Uh, system. So thank you for watching and uh, good luck. There's one more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, you can enable debug for all of the footsteps uh, in AN footstep blueprint. So if you go, if you enable the, if you open the the blueprint, you see the debug enabled uh, variable. If you set it into full, to true, you will see not only um, not only debug from the sin single animation but from all of the footsteps right so it is quite uh, quite useful to to debug this and as you can see you have also the traces so you can see where the footstep where the foot um, uh, hit you have information about uh, actually sound played and from which surface and so on and so forth and this is all um, also logged in uh, well in log so you can it is quite useful for debugging all right so that's it thanks